I'll just have a look at a couple of my homemade mini hives that I've got out in the bush. So I generally just give them a little bit of sugar syrup out when I visit out here, just to keep them going. Generally the ones left have got quite strong population. A few of them dwindled away and they didn't make it. So it's a good test for queens trying to get through the winter. I'll just have a little quick look in these and give them a little bit of syrup. So the idea is just to get some of these through the winter and then any active combs that I've got I can use to start new mating nukes in the spring. You can see there a decent cluster of bees, they're sort of covering about three combs and they're sitting quite low in the box so they're not showing so well up top. But a decent amount of bees there. This one felt a bit light so I'm giving it a good feed. I'll just close that one up and leave it alone now. I'll have a look at another one. I've got about 15 of these out here at my main yard. Um, yeah, so the idea is to just get this comb material through the winter. And it also gives me a bit of a backup number of queens, just in case I need to re-queen or if I have failing queens in some of my main hives heading into towards the springtime. So this one felt a bit heavier. Once again, they're sitting low in the box. Can't see any bees yet. They're just starting to come up now. I'll just have a little bit of a look through this one. It's easier to take the feeder out and give myself a bit of room. So this comb, this comb here has got the sidebars on it. I'll just move that other comb out of the way. So you can sort of see there how they cluster low in the box. Bees don't generally like to sit on capped honey. They much prefer to cluster on that open comb towards the bottom half of the combs. I just pulled the old plastic cell cup off the comb there. It was covered in honey so I just dropped it down in the box for them to clean off. You can see that comb there was quite fat. It'll have to be trimmed down to, to use in the springtime. So this comb's the center of their cluster. And if there was any brood in here, I'd expect to see it on this comb. Just trying to show you the bees there. So the cluster goes all the way down to the floor. But I couldn't see any brood at all in this hive. And you can see they've backfilled that comb pretty well. There's really not much open comb for them. So there's no need to feed this one. It's got plenty of weight and plenty of stored honey and I don't want to completely pack them out with honey because that gives the queen no room to lay. So 
So that's it guys, just having a quick look through these and sure I thought I'd show you a couple. Thanks for stopping by.